Hey everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. This is Dea from DM Paints and I'm so glad you can join me today. So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to mount your alcohol ink pieces or just your artwork in general to an MDF board. Now the same principle can apply if you're mounting your pieces to any wooden panels. Just specifically in today's video, it's going to be on an MDF board. Board. Now I'm going to be walking you guys through the process of what materials you're going to need for this process, how you're specifically going to mount your alcohol ink pieces, and then how you are going to let them set. Hope you enjoy this process and let's get started. All right, so these are all the materials I'm going to be using today, along with my alcohol ink piece, which I'm going to be mounting to the MDF board underneath. I have the Liquitex gloss super heavy gel so this is a gel medium which i am going to be diluting with some water and i just have the brush as an applicator the little popsicle stick or jumbo stick as a mixing tool and i'm going to be showing you guys what you need the parchment paper for in just a second okay so you are going to need your artwork and your mdf board ready and I just put some parchment paper underneath just so don't get any drippage on the table. So the first thing that I'm going in with here is my polycrylic and this is by Minwax. So sorry I didn't include this in the previous clip of the videos where I was showing you the materials. But this is basically a water-based protective coating. So I put this even before I put my gel mediums and this is to seal porous surfaces. So because I'm working on MDF and if you were to work on a wooden panel, which is what I started doing, I no longer work on MDF. You want to seal your board first because it is a porous surface you don't want the gel medium kind of just to soak in your board and not really adhere to your artwork so the step is super important and polycrylic can actually be used as a top coat as well for your pieces it gives it a nice gloss so now I'm going in with my gel medium by Liquitex. So this is a really heavy body gel medium. So I'm going to link it in the description below. But what you see me doing here is mixing it up and I've actually added a little bit of water to it. And that's because it's a super heavy gel medium and you actually don't need it to be so thick. So feel free to just dilute it a little bit so that you can kind of spread it around easier and honestly watering it down for a size like this is totally fine because you're not going to have any issues really adhering your artwork to the board so i would say for bigger projects maybe try not to dilute it as much and really really pay attention to the corners because that is where artwork tends to lift so that is something that you do want to keep in mind and really take your time for this step you know you want to get every inch of the surface because trust me i've had works that have gotten air bubbles in them and it's honestly just a nightmare to fix i mean what you could do with an artwork and actually what i've recently done with an artwork is that i've gone in with resin to try and mask the air bubbles that have appeared over time so the really tricky thing is that air bubbles can appear months later so they can eventually you know slowly seep into your work or under your work i should say if you don't seal it properly so this step is super important even though you know it's a simple process every part does have to be taken seriously if you really want your artwork to last and to look as good as when you first made it So here I'm taking my parchment paper and I'm just going to be putting it over my artwork because this is the step where we want to eliminate the possibility of air bubbles. So you want to push out your air bubbles but you're putting the parchment paper down so you're not directly touching your artwork or potentially scraping it so because this paper is acid free and you can get other forms of acid free paper that are meant for art specifically but you know i had this lying around something that you probably have in your home and it's easy to access so just grab some parchment paper and then you want to press out your air bubbles with you can have a card or you can have like a thin folder or something like that and then you want to apply some sort of weight for at least 24 hours or overnight on top of your artwork to let it fully set. 
And this is the finished piece, guys. So let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments below if you think I've covered everything on how to mount your artwork and if there are other pieces that you'd like to see being mounted. I could potentially do a bigger piece and you know how that kind of compares. So let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.